In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this part and this drawing. It's part five in assignment section two, section views. I'm going to start out by creating a new part. And a new sketch on the X and Y plane. I'm going to draw a rectangle starting at the origin. Five, tab, two, two, tab, enter. That's uh, five wide, two high. I'm going to turn on construction geometry. I'm going to draw a line from the center point. I'm looking for the green dot. I draw it across, straight across to the midpoint over here. I'm going to turn off construction geometry. I'm going to draw a series of points on this line. I'm going to, uh, you may want to put snap on, turn on snap, this icon here. Make it easier to grab these points. I'm going to put one point at 0.75, at uh, 1.75, at 3, and at uh, 4.25. And hit the check. I'm going to extrude out um, a distance of three, but I'm going to go in the opposite direction because I want the sketch in the front. And uh, hit OK. I'm going to come in here to this extrusion. I'm going to turn the sketch on. I'm going to draw, uh, create a hole, a series of holes, four holes. I'm going to choose my hole tool. If I just choose my hole tool, it'll grab all four points on my sketch, and I don't want to do that. I'm going to grab one point at a time because each hole is going to be different. Uh, I'm going to select the first point, and then I'm going to select the hole tool. Uh, this hole is going to be. Um, it's uh, this type of hole. It's countersunk. Uh, it's going to have a distance. It's not going to go all the way through. And the countersink here on top, the diameter of the countersink is 0.75. And the depth of the countersink is uh, 0.5. The diameter of the hole itself is uh, 0.5, and the depth of the hole is uh, 2 inches. So your numbers should look like that, 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 2, and 0.5. This should be distance, and this should be this simple hole. Hit OK. I'm going to highlight this hole and then choose my hole tool. This is going to be a, a countersunk hole, this one here. And the, uh, the diameter here up on top is uh, one inch. The angle is 82 degrees. The hole is half inch. And this is going to go through through all. So it should look like this, 182.5, uh, and going all the way through. OK. I'm going to select this hole, go to my hole tool. And uh, this is going to be simple. It's just going to go all through all, and it's um, half inch. 
to select this whole this point and then use my hold tool and this is going to be another countersunk hole uh, the top of the countersink is a 0.375 The depth is uh, 0.25. Uh, this does not go all the way through a specified distance, and that distance is uh, 1. And the diameter is uh, 0.25. So your settings should look like this 0 0.375, 0 0.25. Make sure that uh, this is your front view. If it's not, reset it. Go ahead and save your part and uh, create a new drawing. A base view of front. Uh, and place a side view here. And an ISO view here. I go to annotate and choose my center tools, center line uh, crosshair tool, center line from the green dot on this line to the green dot on that line. Right mouse button, create. I'm going to hit escape twice. I point to the line. I'm going to stretch it out a bit. To create a new place a new view and that's going to be a section view and I'm going to do a section view point to this pink line here specifying the section and then I'm going to zoom in and uh, grab this line right create section view up here. And add some dimensions. Go to annotate dimension. Let's specify this depth here. This depth here. And let's uh, dimension the, the location of these holes. And notice I'm using datum dimensioning. I'm dimensioning everything from this edge. Now, typically I would ask you to put these dimensions in between the views, but in this case I'm going to add, um, I'm going to annotate the holes and hit escape twice and grab this view and move it up a little bit. So I'm going to uh, use my hole tool, my hole and thread tool. I'll point to this and um, place it about right there. To make this view shaded. There's one last dimension. I'm going to move this uh, view out of the way, move this dimension 
out a bit. And then I'm going to uh, add this one dimension from here to the center line here. And that's it. Uh, export your drawing to PDF and submit it to LMS to complete the assignment.